What's up guys, welcome back to a new video. Today, as promised, I'm ripping box number two of 2019 Panini Prism football first off the line. $200, so hefty price tag, but the guarantees are crazy. You get, I believe, two shimmer parallels, either red to 15, blue to 10, green to two. Uh, you also get a shimmer autograph, number to 25 or less, I think. Uh, rookie silver, a base silver, and like 12 rookie cards. So you get a ton of stuff. And um, four total autographs as opposed to three for the hobby. Hobby is 150 Of course, you know, resale makes that a little higher. And of course, this stuff is a little more expensive at resale. But there's a premium edition, four autos. And the shimmers are sweet. I love the shimmers. Basketball will be a pretty similar format. But so far, I would give the nod to Hobby for being the better the better makeup. Based on what I've seen, I've seen more first off the line boxes and most of them, uh, than Hobby, and most of those were not too good. Um, in the background, I do have the Drew Lock from Prism, as well as a Shimmer from the first video. If you haven't seen the first video, go check that one out because uh, that was not the best card we pulled. But still, the price tag makes it eh, if you're considering, even though we got something solid. So uh, let's uh, crack this open. All right, so first off the line, premium edition. I personally liked when they would just give us a regular first off the line, not premium, because I kind of just like the uh, you know normal contents and the normal price. But yeah, so here's everything you can get in here on the back, all the exclusive and stuff. So yeah, hopefully we can get some good luck. And let's get our packs out. So there you go, two packs in there empty box and let's get cracking so pack number one we have our rookies darwin thompson last time we got a lot of duplicates so hopefully we don't this time dylan mitchell for the vikings Chloe and Furl, Raiders, Dawson Knox, Bills, for the Rams, Daryl Henderson, Juwan Winfrey, all right, here we go, we have uh, an autograph here of, oh, I mean, the one, what made first off the line iffy, in my opinion, was the checklist was so deep and not so much in a good way. I mean, C.J. Anderson, Shimmer Autograph, like, come on. And we'll kind of just go like this. So there you go. <laughs> Our Shimmer Autograph is C.J. Anderson in a practice uniform for the Lions. Um, yeah. All right. We'll sleeve these after the first pack. You don't want to leave those cards sitting out too long. Dylan Mitchell to 49. Purple, uh, like... Kind of, I don't know. What do you? I don't know what you call it, like X Factor for baseball, and then here I don't even know what they're called here. Power or something. Warren Moon Blue Shimmer. To uh, ten, ten of ten, and then Ryan Fitzpatrick Silver. So the first pack was pretty bad. <laughs> Not gonna lie, and uh, we'll sleeve this up. I'm hoping that second pack is good because, I mean, Warren Moon to ten. Nothing crazy. And then Dylan Mitchell. He's in a practice uniform, which kind of says a lot about the type of player he is. And then a CJ Anderson who, I mean, he's had a career, but still it's CJ Anderson. His Even his top rookie stuff wouldn't go for too much. So I'm really hoping the second pack is much, much better. All right, more sleeves to the side. There you go. And that being said, I've seen some pretty bad boxes of this. Uh, I think someone early on before everyone got their boxes had a bunch and they ripped like 20 of them and so many of them were not too good at boxes so yeah we have a Dexter Lawrence rookie uh, Raquel Armstead John Ursua Terry McLaurin a solid guy he can play then Nick Bosa who is one hell of a player Miles Gaskin I haven't gotten to make quality rookies from that rookie stack uh, DeAndre Baker to 75. One of those green scopes. 57 of 75. 
Brett Ripien. Uh, oh, gold vinyl one. That's pretty cool. Nice. Broncos guys, if you know something about him, please do share. Nice. I don't know if I ever pulled a gold vinyl, but I'm going to look him up after that, after he's a quarterback. So I, I mean, you never know. You really never know, especially considering their, their situation. So maybe if Mr. Locke doesn't work out and if Mr. Flacco doesn't stay the legendary elite quarterback he is, then. And Geno Atkins to 15. Red Shimmer. And finally, another repeat guy, John Ursua for the Seahawks, Silver. So, I mean, this stuff can be a bit watered down, in my opinion. That gold vinyl is sweet. And I, I know you don't like hearing my voice, but I've never actually like, pulled a gold vinyl. Those are very rare cards, as you see, they're numbered to five. So we'll sleeve these guys up. But overall, I definitely think that the regular prism was much better, considering you can get hobby color and the price was much lower, and you know, more packs and all that stuff, more cards. Here's our probably our highlight right here. Gold vinyl. I'll do some research after. I don't know if he was drafted. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I mean, it doesn't say anything, but we'll put it to the side for now, and we'll sleeve up this last guy so we can go over what we got. So we've got a bunch of rookies here, and our recap will go as follows. If I can get this silver up, there we go. All right, the Brett Ripian, Ripian, gold vinyl. Geno Atkins, John Ursua. We have a uh, DeAndre Baker, Giants, first round pick actually. So Nick Bosa, Warren Moon, Dylan Mitchell, <laughs> C.J. Anderson, and Ryan Fitzpatrick. So, I mean, nothing insane. I'd say the best card is this, and I mean, you never know with quarterbacks, but. Still nice, get, nice to get a gold vinyl. You can get the color from first off the line in the autographs, but not in the other parallels, unfortunately. So uh, overall, I would say definitely go with Hobby over first off the line. I'm hoping basketball first off the line, which is probably the only one I can maybe get my hands on, um, is is uh, on par with, with the Hobby one. So I'm going to close off with this guy here. Highlight of the break. And this guy here, because highlight of all my prison breaks so far. So... Thanks for watching, guys. Good luck on your boxes. Let me know what you guys got. What do you think of Prism this year? And please like, comment, and sub, and I'll see you guys later.